So Bailey loves this reindeer. It's her favorite toy. And what's funny about it, I'm sure I probably mentioned this, but what I think is particularly funny is that I think she kind of looks like a deer. I think all like fawn and white boxers kind of do. I think it's funny that she loves it because they kind of match, especially when we put her little Christmas outfit on or her little Alabama jersey. But it's so sweet when she cuddles with it. Do you love it? You're so cute. I love you, my little baby dog. He's waiting on Mama to feed him. So I gotta do that. Oh, Bailey's gonna come bother him. She left her poor reindeer alone, stranded. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. So, it is Monday, and Christmas is on Friday. I'm so excited. I love how I keep saying what day it is, even though you're seeing it the next day. So technically, when you're seeing this, it's Tuesday. But whatever. A couple of things. I wanted to show you some things I tried out this morning. The first one being the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gentle Cleansing Lotion. This is for sensitive skin. It's fragrance free. It's got hyaluronic acid in it, oil free, paraben free, hypoallergenic, non comedogenic. I tried this out. I've been hearing like a lot of good things about this. It says it's new, but I watch Arna Lane and I think it has a different name in Australia and New Zealand. I think it's the same thing as that one. I can't remember what the name is, but. I'll go find it and like put it on the screen. So I tried it out this morning and it has a very similar feel to the CeraVe one that I love, the hydrating one. The only thing is that it's a little bit more watery, I would say, not by much, just a little bit. It doesn't have an added fragrance. It does to me smell medicinal or something. I'm guessing maybe that's like the combination of all the ingredients in here that like it's making that smell. The one complaint I have in this is that it says it's got hyaluronic acid in it, but hyaluronic acid, is the last thing so that's kind of annoying i don't like when brands like advertise something and make it like be at the bottom of the list i did like the feel of it so i'll let you know like if it really is for sensitive skin hopefully it won't break me out because i as you know i've gotten a couple of breakouts this one is just a scar now but i scar so easily i mentioned that a couple days ago and then this one is at like the tail end but like i think what's really annoying about my skin is that like i'll get it in a really good state and then like every six months or something like that, it'll have like a major purge. This has been happening since basically I started my birth control. So that's kind of annoying. So yeah, that's the little update on this. And then I tried out the Vici eye gel that I was talking about in yesterday's vlog at the end of it. And this one I really, really liked so far. I mean, obviously it's something that I'm gonna have to see how it works like the longer I try it but I really like the consistency of it. It has a very nice cooling effect. I don't know if it did anything for like my under eye circles. I did like the way this felt. It made me feel a little bit more awake and it kind of helped depuff the area, especially like on my eyelids and outer corners. And I feel like it did a pretty good job hydrating it. So I'll keep you updated on that. Other than that, I have like a good bit to do today. So I have to put all these in the dishwasher, but I have to empty the dishwasher out first. And then, Thomas set up this little thing over here yesterday when we were doing our movie day and then we ended up just sleeping out here because I washed the sheets. Our dryer's broken, so like it only like dries with no heat, so it takes like 24 hours for any load to dry. It's been really fun. <laughs> we're throwing it out, obviously, but okay. But, so we just ended up sleeping out here, but the sheets are finally done, so I've gotta make the bed. Then I need to clean this up, straighten all this mess out. It's giving me anxiety. <laughs> and our dirty Santa gifts. Don't look at what they are, but I've got to wrap those. I've got to wrap Thomas's gifts. So it's very Christmassy on that end. So I'll definitely be like watching a Christmas movie or listening to Christmas music while I do that. I also have a basket of laundry I have to fold because we have to back tomorrow because we are leaving Wednesday, but I'm going to Birmingham with him Wednesday so we can just leave straight from Birmingham because obviously that makes the most sense instead of him driving to Birmingham for his job driving all the way to Huntsville and then driving back down to Mobile. It doesn't make any sense because Mobile is at the south, Huntsville's north, so we just are going down. So I'm gonna have to get up like at four on Wednesday. <laughs> tell me how I feel about that, can you tell? So I've got to fold, so we have clothes to pack and towels to use is what I have going on. So I'm gonna take you along with me. All right, I'm going to make the bed right now. the bed 
Now I gotta clean this mess up. I've got the living room all done. I think when I'm done doing everything, I'm just gonna do a quick vacuum because there's dirt on the floor. That's the one bad thing about us living on the first floor is that like where we take the dogs out tracks in just like a lot of dirt, even though we wipe our feet off. So it's kind of annoying, but it's fine. So I'm gonna empty the dishwasher, load the dishwasher, kind of straighten up the kitchen here and vacuum, I think. Just like get everything a little bit more cleaned up. I just, I, I don't do very well in messy places. That might sound like a little ridiculous, but it's true. I would have cleaned it yesterday, but it was a relaxing day and I told myself I wasn't going to do that because I could do it today and I'm proud of myself because usually I'm like, no, I gotta do it now. But I'm gonna do this. I'll get closer and closer to feeling much cleaner. <laughs> so much better in here that stuff I need to wrap it also looks way better in here I cleaned the floors and vacuumed I also vacuumed pretty much all over the rest of the apartment so I don't know if you saw I don't know if I caught it but Bailey was having a fight with a vacuum and Mac was just standing there <laughs> he's so handsome all right guys so what I'm about to do is I'm going to go through this pantry and figure out what we're actually gonna be able to work through. And what we're not gonna be able to work through, I'm going to take to a local food bank. I actually found one and I'm gonna donate it before we leave this week. I'm sure that they need stuff, especially around this time of year. Plus I don't want it to just go to waste or us have to move a bunch of it. We have like enough stuff to where I don't wanna to have to move like cans and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna go through this and do that and see what we have left. All right, so here's the final result. It doesn't look that much different. I'm gonna take the cereals because I eat those and then everything else, like I'm gonna try to work through the cans the next couple of weeks. I'll take the ramen and like, I barely have anything left of this rice. Not really sure about that Velveeta, we'll figure it out. And this isn't open, so I'll probably just take that too. I did keep what I thought we could work through. We're not gonna be grocery shopping, of course, at all, um, except for like milk, if Thomas runs out or whatever. So yeah, and here is what I got rid of. All this stuff is unopened. I don't really know if you can donate chips, but I'm gonna try, and if not, I'll just take it back to my mom's house on Wednesday. But um, I got some canned goods here that I just didn't think we'd be able to work through. I have, I got rid of like a lot of cans. That was the main thing I wanted to get rid of because those are just like a pain to travel with. Not that everything else is like super fun to travel with, but you know. Anyway, so that is what I did. All right guys, so it's a little bit later and I ate a little bit of lunch. It wasn't anything interesting. So I didn't vlog about it because there's literally a Hot Pocket. <laughs> and like goldfish it's very good once again pretty much just trying to get the stuff that we have in the freezer fridge pantry but right now i am back on canva and i made my intro the other day but now i want to make like a pretty outro because i just want i don't know like i like the outro i have now but you can't hit the links to my videos like that i'll feature at the end of each video so that's what i'm gonna do right now to make it like where i can do that and also just a new one so it'll be different and bright and pretty i don't know maybe not bright i don't know pretty though that's what i plan on doing so that is what i'm about to do okay so here's what i have so far i think that's pretty cute i am gonna leave like this part blank because youtube will like if i select to have an end screen it'll automatically fill it with like my most recent or watched videos and like my picture and everything but I like having all of my like social media and like these like flashy little things to get attention, you know? So right now I'm trying to figure out what music to have. And because this is my, my intros song, let me play you this real quick. 
So it's pretty jazzy and smooth, but like a little upbeat. So I kind of want something that'll go along with that. And so far, this is my favorite. I just, I don't know, I like the jazzy feel. Um, I'm kind of going with that for the next year instead of like poppy, like in my intro and outros and like beat based, I guess if that makes any sense. So yeah, but I am gonna look through a couple more and see if anything else pops out to me more, but that is what I'm kind of landing on right now. You guys are so cute. I love you. You always cuddle and it's the cutest. You're the sleepiest eyes. Oh, mommy woke you, I'm sorry. All right, so I have finished this portion. I won't be able to show you like an actual end screen until I upload a video. I tried, but it wouldn't let me because this is less than 25 seconds long, obviously, because that would be a ridiculous amount of time for an end screen. But you guys can see that in the new year, which is coming up very soon. But here is the final result, other than the actual pictures with like the videos and like my picture over here. <laughs> excited about it i really like what i have planned for next year for my channel okay i'm about to wrap some gifts got thomas's gifts here and the dirty santa gifts i do have two gifts that aren't here yet but i had to actually get them shipped to my in-laws house because um, they wouldn't be here on time so i'm just gonna wrap those when i get there but yeah i just gotta wrap these and then i'm gonna hide them so bailey doesn't try to eat them <laughs> All right, guys, so I got everything wrapped that I have so far. I have another Christmas present for Thomas, but I just don't have it with me, so I'll be wrapping that later in the week. I don't have it with me because it's at my mom's house. <laughs> and then I have some extra bags here. These are all from the Dollar Tree. And, like, Dollar Tree, I already showed these in one of my vlogs, but Dollar Tree is, like, the place to get bags because they're cheap and they're cute and pretty. And I also got the wrapping paper from there because... I don't like to spend a lot of money on things that are gonna get ripped. I'm glad I went ahead and did that so that way I don't have to worry about it later. Hey buddy boy. So I'm actually watching Vlogmas from Jessica Braun five years ago, which is I think when she started it and I watched it the very first year she did it. But I kind of like to just like rewatch old YouTube videos, like especially if I've watched everything from like people I've subscribed to. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. It's kind of funny to watch her walk around stores without a mask on gotta say <laughs> but i'm just chilling with the dogs we're waiting for thomas to get home hi what's up <laughs> it's the end of vlogmas day 21 almost christmas almost christmas so thank you for coming along during today's vlog watching me do a bunch of stuff and getting a little clip of him because we don't get to see him much during the week. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. Mm. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. See ya. Bye. Bye. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way.